Yeah, the Timberwolves holding the Nuggets to 80 points in game two. That might be the most shocking result in the playoffs so far. Perk, how did they do it? Well, just when we thought that offense, first of all, hello world, was taking <laughs> up this squad, 42% is with Jokic just shooting against the Timberwolves, uh, excuse me, against Nas, against the Timberwolves. One for eight versus Nas Reed. He's a negative 28 in the plus minus. Right. Minus well, 28. And that's why you have Nikola Jokic saying things like, I don't know, maybe I need two more clones of me in order to be able uh, to get this done. Or maybe you need Jesus because they're not going anywhere. I'm well, telling you this. Now. I always need a little bit more Kendrick Perkins. And you uh, can get into the too. playoff intensity hey. with ESPN bet. New this users get a bet a reset up to $1,000 in bonus bets if your first bet doesn't win. The official sportsbook of ESPN, the only place to find exclusive offers from your favorite ESPN shows, personalities throughout the playoffs, you can download today but Minnesota Park mm -hmm. has a whole lot of unsung heroes on this team Anthony Edwards though he saw this coming long ago and now we have got Jaden McDaniels joining us here on NBA today so Jaden let's start with that moment that we just heard it's actually from a few years ago but it's been making the rounds now and you, you told me that you've been hearing that clip from Anthony Edwards a whole lot lately yeah, I've been hearing that. Every it turned out, at least in the first round series, to actually be something that is also true. So that's always a, a bonus as well. Somehow, Jaden, this Timberwolves team makes defense fun. There's this shot of Nikhil Alexander-Walker. He's, like, down in a defensive stance. I can't do it. It was us having defense and making it fun, like, for all of us, we don't care who we guard. We just go out there, compete. Like, if I got to rank yourself in terms of best defenders in the NBA, Jaden? High praise for you after game two. He said the Wolves wouldn't be the team that you all are without you. He said that you are the X factor for this group. How does that confidence rub off on the rest of the group, and what does that mean to you? Uh, you know, somebody like very special for probably the most. Perk, our friend Austin Rivers, he couldn't join yeah. the show today, but this topic, you see it, it's dominated sports media this week. It has. I wanted to get your it, thoughts. It has dominated, and the one thing I will not allow is for you NFL players and former... Four. Come on, Malika, hurry up. We got to go. Bam! Anthony Edwards, guess what? When he played football, he played running back, cornerback, and quarterback, and Pretty we know he's too. a 6'4 specimen. We know how athletic he is. Bam! Put it up there, number three, Russell Westbrook. Arguably the most athletic point guard to ever play the game of basketball. Six four, six five, stupid athleticism, and we know his dog mentality. I'm ready now. He played linebacker and he also played running back. Give me number two. Bam! I had to pull out the list on this. Mega, uh, Megatron times two. Number one. Bam! Put it up there. Jalen Suggs, over 1,500 passing yards. Malika. Hmm. He had offers to Ohio State and Nebraska yes, he did. to go play dual, dual threat quarterback, okay? So don't come giving me this nonsense about NBA guys can't play in the NFL Georgia. and all that. And Austin, I got your back, man. Take care of yourself. Well, Pat McAfee, here is our offering of our big list of players who could play in the NFL. They said, don't Perks tweet list. at me. NFL Live is coming up next. Don't tweet at Enjoy me. tonight's games with our senior NBA insider, Adrian Wojnarowski. And I want to start in Phoenix, Woj, because usually we see firings happen pretty immediately after a team was eliminated, but that was not the case with Frank Vogel, who was fired earlier today. So why did this happen now, and who are they looking at as the next head coach? Uh, Malika, I think it's a window, uh, but Mike Budenholzer is looming now as the next head coach of the Phoenix Suns. So Phoenix is a team that wants to win now, but we will see if Mike Budenholzer is the man for that job. I do want to get to a team that is still in the postseason here, the New York Knicks, because OG Ananobi left Game 2 with that hamstring issue. He's already been ruled out for Game 3, but what does it look like even moving forward past Game 3 for him? Uh, Malika, I'm told that it is on. We may now not even be seeing him in game four, but those evaluations continue. Woj, thank you so very much. This is a bummer because the.